Yeah. Hi, my name is Patrick Simono, and I'm from Group 2, The Dark Side of Media. Imagine every family member you have that's under 18 being obese and not doing anything else to stop it. It's a sad thing, and it could easily be prevented. A lot of children in the United States are being raised this way, and this could lead to death and an increase in child obesity. Think about our future kids, just watching TV, doing nothing, just eating and gaining weight, and we just let them, we do not do anything to stop them. According to RebootFCC.gov, one, one in every three children, 31.7% of ages 2 to 19, is obese or overweight. Kids will, kids will eat anything that they see on TV that's being advertised as junk food and that looks good to them. So with that said, let's move on to the problems that occur. <clears throat> Sorry. I know most of you in this room do not, are not parents, but we all have younger siblings or family members. Should we really let them just keep on eating and not stop them and tell them go outside, do some exercise, play sports? I would like to discuss this problem and and show you a simple solution that will work for the separate problem. The problems that come with commercials when kids watch TV. No. In low income neighborhoods, all you see is fast food restaurants. Fast food restaurants and kids only watching TV and being sponsored with the bathroom. Too much TV, too much internet, and too much TV and too much internet is not good for kids under under the age of two to nineteen. Why? For the simple fact that they're gonna get addicted and not do anything about it. Also, there's no physical education classes that are being offered to kids. Those classes are not being taken serious, which they should be taken serious so kids could be out there be more active. Something we like to see every day. According to at, According to reboot.fec.gov, obesity is estimated to cause 112,000 deaths per year in the United States. With that said, let's move on to what we could do to stop this problem. We can limit the use of television, internet, and video games. If we can enroll our kids into programs, after school programs, it will be, it will be easier for them. 30 minutes to watch TV, play sports, or just use the internet is good enough to keep them occupied. After that, we help them go outside and play with them. We could also educate them on the bad things of just watching TV and eating. We, must, we should enroll kids to play sports, also educate them, for the simple fact that if we don't, they're not going to be active. You see all these commercials of kids eating, but you don't see them doing anything else. So let's educate them some more and tell them that this is a bad thing. We should also put them in after school activities. Any type of club that will help them be out there, be active. Just to, just to show them that they don't have to always be even. We could also Take them out, spend, just spend time with them knowing that if, if they're with us, they know they're, being, they're safe and they're being healthy. For the simple fact that if we don't spend time with them, all they're going to do is be stuck home, doing nothing that is helping them lose their weight. Exercising with a child is also very important for the simple fact that, we are, that we're losing weight and as well showing them that it's a good thing. Obesity is increasing for over the years now. As you can see in this graph, the blue represents ages from 6 to 11 and the yellow represents from 12 to 19. On the left side, the percent has been increasing. From 1963 to 1970, it has increased. As you can see, from 1963 to the year 2000, child obesity is growing and we should put a stop to this. This picture shows this picture explains that kids should be more 
you should be active, you should go outside, play, tell them to let's move around. Not just standing there and doing nothing. In conclusion, this problem has been going on for over 30 years. We know what we have to do to stop this. Now let's actually do something about it. Let's get out there, help them, and enroll them in clubs, sports, etc. Like I said before, a lot of us in this room are not parents, but we are we have family members that are younger than us and we should help them stay active. 